I'm Tim, and this is the Beginner's Guide to Breaking Up with Someone. Nice one. Sometimes relationships go wrong, and you feel like you want to get out. You might miss hanging out with all your friends. Yo, check this out. <laughs> Maybe you're not ready for kissing, but they are. Perhaps they like you more than you like them. Or the opposite. Sometimes you just grow apart. Breaking up can be hard, but some ways are definitely better than others. Avoiding confrontation might seem like the easiest way out. But don't stop talking to someone and hope they'll get the message. Or want to dump you first. Dumping someone by text, Bebo or email can be big trouble. You can't always be sure the message gets through. Can you get my message? Even if it does, your ex might need a bit more of an explanation. Try not to make your decision public until you've had a chance to talk it through. And don't get your friends to do your dirty work. You got into the relationship and it's your responsibility to get out. <laughs> Pick a time when there's nothing else coming up and there's no one else around. That means your ex can have time alone if they need it. <laughs> and try not to beat around the bush. You're always hanging around the other cool boys at school and going out to parties really late and leaving me. It's best to just get straight to the point. I said, oh, I'm going home. It was really, really boring and I can't handle it, so... Like yeah. pulling off a Band-Aid. Breaking up can hurt less if you do it quickly. And then they can really not... Yeah, you know? A one-on-one -on -one conversation is best and a spot neutral to you both, like a park or in a cafe. If you're open and honest with someone, there is more chance you can be friends again later. What if it happens to me? Sooner or later, it probably will. So think about how you'd like to be treated. And if the old saying, what goes around comes around is right, you'll be pleased you were kind.